What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're taking a look at this last in this particular run of reviews. There's still a couple other things I can get, just, you know, time, money, that kind of thing. Uh, and it is from the Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger. This is the Ho-Oh Voyager. This is basically the uh, the, the Ho-Oh Rangers <laughs> spaceship, robot, satellite base. It, it's a whole lot of things. This is the Gigant Ho-Oh. And uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite things. Of course, it has combinations with other things. It has its own lights and sounds and all the cool stuff like that. Uh, so uh, definitely, definitely worth worth the effort to get this one. Uh, so you do have Gigant Ho-Oh there. You got the Ho-Oh Voyager back there. You do have the number 12 and the line Kutama's there. Whatever that says. It probably says Gigant Ho-Oh. And this is, by the way, these are the DX versions. Uh, Bandai logo that I'll never point out. Slightly torn edge down there. And you come to this side and you look up and you've got ho -Ho Voyager combined with Shishi Voyager combined with all of the Qtamas of everybody so far equals thing I'm not showing you just yet. We come to the back and we cover up the thing that we're not going to look at just yet. So we've got the ho -Ho Voyager, we've got the ho -Ho Station and the ho -Ho Base. I believe is what those are all technically called. I will definitely double check with that to the wiki before I finish up. So you've got ship mode, docking mode, that thing he's done there, lights, sounds, actions, all of the things do the thing. Look, there's Kirino. Uh, stop it, stop it. By the way, very, very cool packaging on the side here for the uh, Cute Ranger Gigant Ho. -Oh. I do love that. And then once again, you have the three parts. So it's actually a three-part combiner uh, in and of itself, which is cool. Like it just is. Just freaking cool. And uh, being that it's only the second one that even has lights and sounds, makes it more important. Also, guys, I forgot to plug these things. But if you want to see me unbox these things for the first time, figure out how to transform them, figure out all the other fun ins and outs of them, check out the Shoki Patreon, where I do out-the-box reaction to basically all any and all figures that I get, whether that's Transformers, regular toys, Power Rangers stuff, uh, even Nerf guns, anything like that. If, if it's content you like from this channel, there's more of it actually on the Patreon than I even release here. Like, in a, a large number. A large number of things in fact i did these months ago so if you were on the patreon you have already seen how all these things go together so either way uh let's go ahead and get to it uh thank god i'm done with these giant boxes for now All right, guys. So here we have the ho -Oh Voyager, the ho -Oh Base, and the ho -Oh Station. And, of course, if you want to see how we uh, broke it down into these individual parts, you can do so at the video that will be coming out after this one. Or it will be linked at the end. After the fact? I don't know. It is what it is. So the cool thing about the ho -Oh Voyager slash the Gigant ho -Oh is that it is a three-part combiner unto itself which is kind of crazy so um i do have the uh Ho station over here kind of off to itself which i do have it very precariously balanced on this stand so i can kind of show it off so you do have the very large solar panels stuff like that cool gold paint gray stripe going around the thing come to the back spoilers Spoilers for that. Don't look at that. Just don't pay attention to that thing. And then go ahead and just get this big stupid thing out of the way. And then you come up here and you got some more stuff and things and things and such. And so we will set that to the back. And uh, we'll look at the actual Ho Voyager here in a second. Because realistically, uh, the base is the most important part. Because it is the base, obviously. And I am joking, of course. Because, I mean, it is literally just... A base now the thing is i didn't pay any attention to this thing initially i just thought it was a gray like kind of stanchion or whatever gantry didn't even realize it's got massive tank treads so it's like one of the big like slow moving things that move space shuttles and stuff like that around 
I don't even know if we still use those things or not, but they do still exist, the crawlers. So you can get some big things down here. The only thing that sucks is none of it's uh, decked out in paint. And uh, it would be cool if it was. So uh, in the future, that might be a project to customize this for myself. Turn around here, that's spoiler tech there. So uh, you do have just some ever so slight like cutouts there for the Voyager itself to sit. It doesn't actually like lock in or anything. It just sits very nicely in there. So let's get that out of the way and we'll talk oh, oh, Voyager unto itself. And thing is, being bright white, uh, it is definitely, definitely kind of overexposed here. Now we do have a lovely red metallic paint, gold metallic white paint blue paint all there you do have the uh, Qtama right in the middle which is cool flames coming all the way down because ho -Oh is phoenix silver molded plastic same thing there gray molded plastic down here for the big old thruster bits and then you come to the bottom and you have the on and off switch the speaker and spoiler bits and then of course your batteries go right here i think it just takes uh double a's or triple a's i forget um, but of course, if you want to actually see how I react to these things straight out of the box, you can do so at the Shoki Patreon, as you do. And uh, I think it is currently off, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and face it this way. So, ho oh, Voyager noises. Um, and I'm going to have to disable some lights here for a second. So we can see the lights here. It is a lot like the, uh... there we go. That's that. Okay, so now it's kind of doing combo mode. So I think, I think we have to do the thing. This is like the, the music that, it, okay, we have to, okay, fine. I'll do the thing. So you just take it here, you got clips, you slide it in here. Jeez, that was a lot of noise. That was, that was a lot of pressure there, machine. Okay, so um, before I push the button again, now that it's back together. Uh, wow, there's a delay there. All right, so let's go ahead and just combine it up for Gigant Holo. So basically super easy. Flip in the wings, prop out the legs. We're gonna work on the arms, so we're gonna rotate that down to the halfway point, then push that out. There's one fist, flip that. By the way, that is part of the transformation, making sure that little sword goes flying because it doesn't tab in worth a damn. And then you can straighten out the arm. Same thing over here, like that. Flip that in, flip that down. Basically to that position. Whoa, hey, hey. Ever since I dropped it the other day, it's been a little wonky. It, it fell off the table and hit the ground. And then last but not least, we bring up the plate that reveals the face. And <sighs> problem is I have it really dark. But either way, there is our Gigant Ho-Oh in his robot mode. Looking very, very cool. So let's go ahead and do some noises. So I think that's like a, either a walking sound or an attack noise, I'm not sure. Super <laughs> I didn't mean to turn that all the way up. And I don't remember if I hit it again, if it'll do the next thing, because it might. So uh, I think I have to hold it down to do the next thing. So we'll just move on and let's do some comparisons. I'm going to have to really adjust my lighting again. There we go. So, oh, let's just talk about his swords right quick because they are just stuck here on the wings and they do stick on very poorly via these little slots and those tabs. Uh, by the way, huge gap in the forearms once you take the, uh, the fists out. Oh, that's the wrong direction, dum-dum. There we go. And then, whoa, hey. 
seriously is a little bit wonky since I uh, since I dropped them. And like you can adjust those however you want. So yoink, put that there. Swords up, wings back like so, and come down just a little bit. And where is our cuter new? Ah, come on, buddy. Get out there. So, he's just a little taller at the nose cone than Kurino. And we get the, the base out of here. So, these are our three main large mecha for the series. When you include, of course, our other gigantic tall boy with the horns. With our Ryutei-O from the last go round. And now I've got... I've got a base to, to play with here. Um, yeah, I dig these three. They are fantastic. As a set, really does kind of make me want to get a couple of spares so I can actually have displays of combo modes. So we already saw um, Super Ryuteo, or uh, not Super Ryuteo, Ryute Kurino, which is pretty cool in its own right. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have gonna have more combinations because this guy of course allows us to do almost our kind of ultra zord combo as it goes but before then there's a very there's a little known thing i think a little known could be wrong but it's combination with that guy i didn't even know until i went on the wiki so let's get this friend out of here and i'm gonna need to rob a couple kutamas off of him so there's that one, and that one, ding. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of partial voyagers laying around here. That, that's kinda gonna be the name of the game here in a bit. Okay, so what we wanna do is, and this will be teasers for upcoming stuff, we're gonna go ahead and remove Sasori, because I don't believe he's part of this combination. And we're going to take off this friend and the Kutama. So, like I said, we've got a whole bunch of partial voyagers laying about. Um, let me make sure I've got everybody here. I believe so. So, we're going to go ahead and yoink off the swords. Put them back where they belong. Rotate that up. Just get it out of my way. So, like that. Swords pull it away and we're going to yank off the bottom of the thrusters here and we'll set the rest of them over there for the time being we're going to come in and flip the wing the opposite direction grab washi voyager and the uh who is that uh, uh Kuma Voyager, grab the other side, do that, grab our chameleon, oh, I'm sorry, put the chameleon up here, and our Okami there, and this was a random combo they did, I guess, at some point in the show, I, I found it when I was scrolling through the Ryuteo listings, now the only thing is, is that it lists this as Habitsukai, but you can clearly see it is not silver, it's light, it's sky blue. So uh, it, it's my belief that that is in fact what that is. And apparently you use this mode to fly up into orbit to fight something at some point, I guess is what happened. Um, but either way, that's actually very, very cool. Okay, so now what we need to do is strip all of the Kutamas off of all of our Voyagers. Because this is what we're going to do. By the way, I did that very violently. I didn't need to. Okay, so let me get all of the individual Voyagers out of our way. Because we don't need them anymore. For the time being. Okay, and we also get Sasori while we're at it. Uh, is there anybody else that I'm missing? I don't think so. I think I already got everybody else prepped as far as it goes. Um, get... Ryute butt face out of here. Whoops, sorry. And let's see here. 
said our Qtamas about. So let's get let's get all of our Qtamas out here, and we're ready to go. Move this out of the way, and then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna take apart our Gigantoho. Set or pull. Oh, I hit that button there. So it's launching noises. Yep. Okay. Okay, either way. So, let's set it aside for now. Oh, this is the other thing I wanted to show you that uh, now that I've gotten very discombobulated, you can't fold the hands back whenever it's tilted. So, basically, you want to take the station back to effectively station mode for the time being. Set that back there. Set our rocket back here. Along with his counterparts, we'll set everything. Count's docking. It's not going to shut up. I, they knew what they were doing when they put that when they put that uh, button right there. So I'm trying to get all the Qtamas out here, and it's annoying the crap out of me because I have, keep hitting the same button over and over. And I need... Oh, yeah, I'm still missing... Two of our friends here. So I need the Washi Voyager, or the uh, Shishi Voyager. Go ahead and pull off the bowl. Do was it Oishi? And there's our thing there. And we're going to root or pull off the head because we don't need that anymore. And I'm just going to bring out all the Voyagers as they are. And we'll set this out here. And I said Voyager's meant to you, Thomas. So here we go. Here's all the things. There's, there's literally all of the things. All 12 of them of the normal variety. There are a couple not, you know, not participating, technically speaking, if we're honest. Oof. But uh, this is what we need to get to our next combination mode. Holy crap. Uh, for the eagle eye viewers, yes, we were missing the yellow. My bad. Okay, so um, <laughs> we're gonna form up Qtamagen, and uh, it's it's not hard, but the the hard part is making sure that you get everything in the right order, because of course you need the uh base here, which is main, definitely part of it. Okay, so I need gold to come down here. And then I need black to go here. Um, actually, I don't. We'll see if that works or not. Okay. Then we need silver to go there. Dark blue to go there. Sorry, I don't know if that was even in order. I or in uh, focus, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. So we need to take our. Shishi Voyager. And nope, that definitely won't work. So my bad. There we go. Basically, normal normal leg situation. Then that will plug down like so. And now I can't get to anything because I put everything out of my own way. Alright, so let's raise up because this boy's gonna get tall. Gonna get very, very tall now. Uh it has I think it has the standard shishi red in the chest, and then we have yellow and green. 
And then much like we did before, you want to take the thrusters on the side. And then this one is going to be pink. Snap it in there. And then orange. Snap it in over here. And then we're going to come to the back. We'll take the whole Ho-Oh Voyager as it goes. We're going to split that. And then... Oh, what are we doing? Oh, wait. We need the... Uh, we need the rest of it. I wasn't paying attention. So, okay. So we need this guy. And pull this off the back. Pull that off the front. And then we will... Slide that up in there. <laughs> I had it totally backwards in my brain. So now we've got pegs all lined up here. And that's going to, of course, peg into these clips on the back of Shishi Red. Like so. And then we want purple over here want sky blue over there if <laughs> we need the swords to go back where they were oh, wrong one so sword there bring the wing down sword back over here bring the wing down just a little bit and then for our final our final trick of the evening we're gonna take the chest. We got two posts right there. And much like we did with the dragon before, that just plugs into there. Now, last certainly not least, we have this thing that nearly spoiled its own self. It plugs in to the head right there. And we take our number 12 sparkly guy and we will plug it onto the top of the head forcing the face out, which was badass. And then we can come back here again. There we go. So with all the fun noises, we now have Qtama Jean, the kind of ultimate combination of everybody. And I think technically speaking, these are probably meant to be very large cannons, if I had to guess, if not just cool thruster bits. Um, this thing is ridiculous. I mean, look how tall that is at a distance. That is ridiculous. That's gotta be upwards of like 18 inches, probably 20, if I had to guess. I do not have my measuring tape. On hand, uh, apologies. Um, do I have anything nearby? Oh, right here. Because we can compare. We have, you know, the tallest of the main combiners. You can see he's that much taller. He's a full Kutama over the horns, basically. Like a head and a Kutama and then some. So, super tall, obviously. Now, the only sad part is, of course, we can't integrate anything from here into there. Now, if you wanted to be funny, I guess you could swap out the dragon head and put it there on the chest. But I think that would look a little bit less cool, in my opinion. And no, sadly, you can't attach the rest of it to this one because there ain't nothing to attach to. Um, as we already sort of discussed, we already saw that little combination and of course uh the downfall of this if you wanted to just have a cutomagen on display is the fact that well you have tons and tons of other voyager parts laying around including a whole ass purple dragon which i guess is nearly complete without the rest of it but you know you got like a kajiki just just hanging out not doing anything so uh very very cool obviously you only really get the arms for posing the head doesn't turn which by the way let me let me pull in close on that head of course i'm inside of my lights here so that kind of sucks hold on 
to get closer. So maybe I'll just try to zoom proper on that big sparkly forehead. Look at that. So that's basically the Q Ranger uh, star logo, big old red gem, and then the eyes and the chin that basically have been the same thing as we all do. And of course, it's Q Tama Jin, which means he's like a genie in a way. And of course, he does have a kind of, well, genie esque head as it goes. Um, but yeah, this thing is super cool. The downfall of it is, of course, the lack of integrated electronics to, well, utilize the ho -Oh Voyager's electronics with the Shishi Voyager's electronics. And because there's nothing that lights up down here or here or back there, for instance, or on the head, you, you can never have like a really cool full on lit up version, especially with this Voyager or Akutama being buried way back in there you know you lose some of it i mean uh, well there honestly didn't know it was on that's just, either way if you could have like a constant on ability for the leds and light them all up would be very very cool um, in theory, could you light it from underneath the Qtamas, like drill a hole into there and, and like maybe have individual LEDs to light them all up? Probably. That's a lot of effort. And you'd have to wire them all in and stuff like that. It would probably be a giant pain. And also, this thing is gigantic. I mean, look, I just I already showed you comparatively, but I mean, like, let's, let's go all the way down to the level of it and then look up at it. Good lord, look at that thing. I mean, like, I can push it all the way back to the back of the review set. There you go. It's the only way to get the whole thing in, in focus. <laughs> uh, but good lord, Qtamagen is very, very cool. Now, it is technically the tallest. Not sure if it's the biggest. Because there is one other good size Voyager thingy that I still need to get my hands on. And then we'll see what happens in the future. Hmm. But yeah, that's going to be it for this Ho-Oh Voyager and, well, combo of everything situation. Um, I guess maybe I could do a teardown of Qtamagen. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll see. Uh, guys, if you want to just, for the fun of it, if you want me to do a Qtamagen teardown video, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, go watch the rest of this series as it goes. And like I said, I do want to get a few more things. I do want to get the... Um, Seiza Blaster, you know, the thing that's basically their morpher. I don't need, like, the cue the weapon. I don't need the, uh, like, the, the weapon that the uh, Ryu, Ryu soldier had or whatever. The, the, the big kind of sword, staff, dragon gimmicky thing. I looked at that with another YouTuber many years ago. Cool. Don't need it, though. Also, can't display it realistically because I want these things in my, uh, in my, in my details. Where, where they can be lit up and cool. So, uh, it, it's entirely possible that I'm going to buy a whole secondary Qtamagen setup just for that reason. And I might actually have to buy an entirely separate uh, <laughs> Ryu, uh, Ryu Kirino setup just for that reason. <laughs> it's like, so I can have like the Bear Voyagers and then like the Super Combos. Because this thing is so cool, it's kind of a shame to not have it on display like this so i mean i might i might pull the trigger on that here in a week or two um because otherwise you know buy somebody's that they don't already have it complete to just have it set up like this and just have that on display that's kind of all i want but either way guys that's gonna be it i already said that and i'll see you next time remember as always keep on nerding